Hi everybody, it's Miley Kitty and Lily and Daisy. Just a second ago they were fighting. It was all sorts of fun. Anyway, welcome back to Get a Life Sims 4 style. When we last left, uh, it's just before midnight on Friday. So basically been playing five and a half days and my heroine, uh, who is actually Sandy, has achieved a 10 in cooking and eight in fitness. She actually has two in gourmet cooking, eight in handiness, and just a couple other skills I'm not really that concerned with, but I wanna make sure she has most of her skills. Uh, Mom, i.e. Yvonne, has mass, is in the very last leg of her painting aspect aspiration. She needs to complete four more masterpieces. She has enough points that she can buy an elixir, excuse me, a potion of life. No, a potion of youth. Okay, I'm mixing up Sims 2 elixir of life and Sims 4 potion of youth. So she has enough points to purchase a potion of youth I will be saving every morning because I want to get the maximum benefit, which means I don't want to take it before you know, she's really about ready to die. If you recall, she was about halfway through her elder stage when I started playing her, which I think is really unfair, but fine. So I'm actually going to keep Sandy on this lot until she gets full fitness and actually maxes this bodybuilder aspiration. And Yvonne, whatever happens with Yvonne, I will have them work on. Uh, let's check out their, they're both in fine, I think Sandy, Sandy needs to pee a little bit, but overall they're both fine. So we're going to have Yvonne, oh that's right, she needs to do a realism painting, which as in my experience, realism has the best payout, and we'll have Sandy continue to practice punching. Oops, no, she doesn't need to practice punching. She needs to energize book box beyond the limits. She needs to uh, exercise for 10 hours, six of which she's accomplished before she hits her next goal. So on, on with the show, yay. And it's actually, just coincidental that I chose purples for Sandy. They went well with her hair and I chose her because of her hair. Purples were the way I went with Yvonne simply because in the original Money from Mom, she was all about the purple. And is she going to the bathroom? I guess she is. No, she's taking a bath. I guess she's earned a bath. Oops. Oops. Oh, she's playful now. And she's, if we recall, she did get engaged to Malcolm Lillian Grab. And she also has a relatively decent... Oh, Sandy, you need to pee. She's actually got some star quality. Yvonne does. And she has hit her her uh, next goal and so she just needs to get one more body skill and then reach the maximum of potential. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have her, ooh the kitchen's dirty, um, we're going to have her make a caprese salad for two. Oh, wait, hold it, not single serving. Which is actually caprese salad for four. And she will be doing caprese salads from here on until she gets her full gourmet cooking skills. And now she's up to level three. And a level four. And Sandy could probably go ahead and... Oh, level five. Wow! She hit level two, three, four, and five with one salad. That's amazing. Okay, I'm actually going to have her try to have a... Let's put these over here. They make excellent breakfast. Okay. 
sit there and chat with your mom while she finishes up hers. And now mom can go back to painting while Sandy, you take a real quick nap. And I'll clean up the kitchen. Oh, she got her, she got another, yay, for the, for the masterpiece. 3,500. Yay. Okay, great. And they do have a club. If you recall, I did actually have them make a quick club. They're not really getting a whole lot in the way of perks, but they have some. Um, her gourmet cooking skills, her fitness. Uh, I think I should add handiness just in case we need to work on anything. And maybe painting in case she decides to start painting. Well, and she's taking the club with her because she is the club master, so... And it has now been six days. Better save in case mom chooses to expire today. I think she's good for now. But I actually had an elder that lasted two weeks after her bar was full. And I'm like, are you ever going to die? I mean, I wasn't wanting her to die. But I was like, I had been ready emotionally for her death for quite a while. And so I wasn't... I And then... She actually, I actually managed to save her from death three times, one of which got her an extra four days, which I thought was hilarious. Okay. And Sandy is ready to pursue. I think I'm going to have Sandy, I think I have, I'm going to have her buy a, the workout machine. because like a, a weight machine because I think that is actually more effective at building actual body skill And I am going to go ahead and pause for a little while while I let them work on this. So Sandy has actually only been working out for about one more hour and she actually reached at almost the exact same moment fitness skill and maximum body potential at the same time. So that was the most efficient I've ever done that because usually they fig finish one well before the other, usually the fitness skill well before the body potential. So she is as fit as she can be. I'm going to have her do a little bit more in the way of, of handiness because I do want her to have full handiness as well. Um, Mom, you are not allowed to box. I don't want her to die prematurely. If she really must do something, she can do yoga for fitness. <laughs> All right. I actually have Sandy on a... on the uh, nerd brain career path because it'll be something she can work on while she is pursuing her actual, or when I say uh, aspiration path, because it's something she can work on while she's pursuing her career of the military once she joins in. and take a shower. Oh, hold it. No, not you. You need to... And Yvonne got one more masterpiece, so she's 
just one away from being complete. She's got four out of five completed. Yay, Yvonne. And they're really filling the coffers right now, so that's good. And Sandy can have some leftovers. The leftovers don't stay very long in this fridge, so I don't like making a party size. Okay. So back to the handiness skill, because I do want her to be up to the maximum of handiness. I'm going to do some sculptures just because I want to have them around the house. So it's just after midnight on Sunday, which by 8 a.m. it'll be one week that Sandy has been in the house. And so it's a great time to uh, freshen up our relationship with Yvonne. And reduce the volume here a little bit. It's a little loud. There we go. And Sandy has now mastered the basic cooking skill, uh, handiness skill, and the fitness skill. So as far as I'm concerned, Sandy has done everything she needs to do to move out. Mom still hasn't aged back. She has, I'm guessing, maybe about three days left in this lifespan. But I'm not going to worry about it because right now I'm not going to be playing her. Uh, but Sandy is now ready to move on to the next stage, which will be to split from the household and move. So now that she's ready to do that, I'm going to have her do that. She's not taking any money with her, but I'm going to jot down that she has 39362 we're going to do that and just, yep, I don't want to give her any money. Mom gets to keep that, but we're going to jot that down. Now using free real estate on, which I had on there for a second, and now it's not. There we go. I am actually going to move her into the next lot, which is Reality Bites. It has no lot traits, but it has four lot challenges. Gremlins, Creepy Crawlies, Grody, and Filthy. Now the goal of this is to complete the goals that were laid out in the original Get a Life, as well as uh, clear the lot challenges and as you complete the goals and get a life you will clear the lot challenges so we're going to go ahead and purchase into a furnished home and go see Sandy there okay so we are now in reality bites the next stage basically mission two of the challenge and before you move in, well, you you purchase it with free real estate on. Once I've moved in, I am going to use the money cheat. That's why I wrote down what she had, 39362 was in the bank account. That is now hers. And yes, mom gets to keep it, but the idea is we're keeping roughly the same account as we go. And yes, I know Daisy. So there are four challenges, and the goal is to release each. To release Grody, you need to achieve a level 10 in cooking. And actually, I'm also going to say before I moved in, I also, or as soon as I moved in, I went around and made everything that was dirty, dirty. And so to release Filthy, you need to upgrade your moat your abode in build mode with 1500 or excuse me 
1150 in new stuff as well as clean up everything that is now dirty. You get 300 points for that. Get promoted to clear career level 2 will release the gremlins and get promoted to career level 3 will release the creepy crawlies and I think I forgot to get the did I forget to get the no I didn't wait I forgot to get a job I need to get a job in the actual console game it wouldn't let you do this until you actually got a job but there we go so She doesn't go to work until Monday morning. It's currently early in early Sunday. So she's got some time to work on the house. She doesn't need to work on the her cooking skill. Remember I said that if you stay in mom's house longer, you will actually be able to succeed better in following and that's why. So that's why I wanted her to get her handiness, her cooking, and her fitness. Anything else is just bonus. And so she's going to walk around and get everything clean. I hope she finds that fun because she's got a lot of cleaning to do. Uh, let's see. Shower, polish to perfection, polish to perfection, polish to perfection. So, yeah, she's got a lot of cleaning to do, and hopefully... And I'm sure this isn't very fun for you to watch, so I'll go ahead and get this taken care of off camera. Okay. So she has been doing her cleaning and got a few other things to do. The house is actually fairly decent. She's got a good bed. And there was a fire in this house before, which is why her kitchen is currently exterior. And so she's now done it. Uh, so the next thing to do is upgrade the abode to buy 15, 1150 in new stuff. And so we're going to say, all right, I know that I have uh, 39,362. So that would make that 38,112. And that can actually include uh, my textures, my wallpapers and carpets and everything. So I'm going to give her some new stuff that will be hers. All right, but so this is what her starting account is and then whatever it is afterwards. So it has to be I have to eliminate it down to below 38,212. And so I'm going to go ahead and go into build mood and take care of that. So including enclosing the kitchen, which had been previously a victim of the fire, replacing all of the grungy wallpapers with and flooring with fresh wallpaper and floor, and replacing the grungy kitchen counters and appliances, I spent a total of 1,273 out of a goal of 1150, so I did that. So now, according to the rules of the challenge, I can actually, uh, because I have a 10 in cooking and I've upgraded the abode, I can uh, release both the grody and the filthy. Plus, now that filthy is released, I am allowed to hire a maid if I want to. So, because in the original challenge, you couldn't hire a maid until everything was clean. In the original challenge, you couldn't. Uh, hire a repairman until everything was fixed and gremlins are going to work so you can't actually hire a repairman until she gets promoted to career level two and you fix anything that is currently broken okay so on with the game she needs to get some sleep I don't know why she's wanting to nap on the couch but we'll we'll nap on the And it is prank day. Not a huge fan of prank day. Okay. Oh, and uh, she's got creepy crawlies, so they're swarmed by bees. One thing that I've noticed is you can go ahead and queue up something else to get rid of that creepy crawly thing that's going to happen. And mom wants to come over. Do you want to hang out? Well, not right now, mom. I'll ha invite you over later. She's getting caught up on sleep.
and one of the reasons I chose the various things like Grody was it made sense that because Grody causes nausea that you should have a good cooking skill in order to get rid of it and she's up to level 6 in her gourmet but she actually has level 10 in the basic cooking skills so she's ready so everything else she does from now on is gravy like I said uh, mom called asked her to go to the flea market mom asked her to hang out Malcolm asked her if he should uh, hang out with one of her friends so yeah things are it's quite a lovely life and she's ready to move forward now the radio is playing I made the radio small so it could sit there congratulations on landing that sweet job I think this is going to be great for you so she has gremlins nothing broke while she was sleeping and so that's good it's a great time to work on your dance skills sure why not now this is actually a small home it is 90 tiles but there are no skill benefits for being in a small home but there's skill benefits for having mom over so and I, I promised mom that I'd have her over yeah she likes dancing so mom's on her way and is apparently going to just make herself at home by taking a shower or a bath as soon as she arrives that's great uh, now that mom is technically a guest she'll kind of take care of herself I mean we do have the bathe and shower the workout the cook I better take away workout because mom might want to do that and I don't want her dying so yeah um, there's no no reason why she would need to work on woodworking but let's see let's think about something how about for hobbies spa activities that would be nice and so we will go ahead and buy a yoga mat for the backyard a couple of them they're inexpensive it's a very small backyard but it's summer so they should be fine and maybe a couple of poofs for a, you know, a couple of meditation poofs and we'll put those in the front yard because why not who knows we could inspire other people to engage in mindful behavior so now mom can pursue wellness she might not be as physically fit as if she actively worked out but yoga does do a fair job as a matter of fact I'm gonna see if I can get her to um, practice yoga and mom will probably want to do that as well oh I better take away cooking otherwise I have noticed that if you have cooking as a possible activity in a club situation but you have people who are not members of the household they just completely do nothing but cooking and all they do is just fill your counters with food that you have to throw away and it's not like it's a big deal but let's make sure we have wellness there we go wellness boost she doesn't have enough space to work on rocket skills so we'll save that for another time but mom is probably thinking oh well She's just really, I'm going to take away the shower because that's apparently all she wants to do. All right, so I'm going to let them play for a little while and I'll be back. So mom painted a masterpiece and I don't know if that's actually going to count as her last one. 
but that's okay because I get to keep it and sell it. Yay! So that helps. Thanks, Mom. And I'm going to continue. I'm going to just go ahead and start painting myself before she has to go to bed while mom works out with her yoga. And she gets ready to go to work at 6 in the morning, so she probably should hit the hay. So apparently for the military, there is a work from home option. I'm very excited about this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the work from home and see what options that gives her. Uh, so practice sparring, uh, purchase a training bot from the catalog, click on it and select practice sparring. Okay, that's cool. I can do that. It's not like she needs this, the actual um, physical skills, but yeah, we can practice sparring. And that did increase my amount of improvement by 500, so I'm up to 1773 of improvement. And I'm actually putting that in the bedroom because I don't want to run the risk that mom decides that she might want to do it. So I'm just going to lock the door for everyone but Sandy so mom can't come in. Although if mom learns how to meditate, she can do whatever she wants, but we're not going to worry about that. So I will let her get to it, and I'll be back in just a couple minutes. I'm not sure if sparring is going to have different animations than boxing, but she's... Oh, yeah, it does. And apparently she doesn't need to turn, change into workout gear for it. So that's kind of fun. And she's done. Okay, so that's the that's all she has to do, work from home assignment. She's ready to kind of move on with her day. The one thing I like about this uh, particular option is it leaves her more time to do this. And I don't know if her mom is still around. We're going to go ahead and end the gathering and give her an opportunity to kind of regroup and then start a gathering again and have Yvonne have an opportunity to regroup her own her own and then invite Yvonne back so I am actually not ready to advance they don't tell you if you advanced until tomorrow morning so we'll see and I'm just gonna go ahead and play through I'll be back okay so the welcome wagon is here and I'm pretty excited because they're people I want to meet uh, there's Malcolm Landgrab, whom I already know, but Bingo Hayes, who is one of the party guys, I think, but he might be a roomie, and Betty, or Bingo, Bingo Ransom and Betty Hayes. I kind of randomized their last names, but I gave them all as close to what I could determine was the same from their original personalities. Okay, so we're just going to do a few friendly introductions. We actually got to know Mortimer a little bit. Actually, let's invite the neighbors in. And Dudley, Dudley is Mortimer's son. We saw him when Mom went to visit him the other day. And she's actually been out and about.
So glad we got a chance to chat. And it's a great opportunity to kind of lay some ground ground uh, relationship, particularly with Betty, because I know she's a roomies. And so I really want to kind of have her as a potential roommate because she's actually kind of wonderful. So I'll get on with that. And we are still apparently in, oh no, we're not. We'll do a get a life gathering and that'll help improve our relationship boost. At least I think it will. If not, it will here in a second. Yep. Friendly and funny interactions will receive a greater boost. So that's a great way to kind of getting to know you. Ask her about her day. Get to know her. And that's a great opportunity. Plus, mom's on the way over. And I'm just actually going to invite her to enjoy Get a Life. And she's going to want to. Do an impression. So anyway, I am at 31 minutes of this video. And actually, as soon as I find out whether or not I got a promotion tomorrow morning, I will wrap this one up. But she's got plenty of time because that's not until 5 in the morning and it's currently 2 in the afternoon. So I'll play them a little bit more and then I will find out where I stand with my first promotion. So she didn't get a promotion. Sandy's boss was happy with the work she did from home and she made 115. So she'll work from home again and work out at the exercise machine, which she doesn't currently own. So she'll have to buy that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up for now because I'm sitting at 32 minutes. Uh, her friends made some real effort and real advancement in their own skills while they were over here. So she's ready to move forward with Reality Bites. And I'll see you in the sim world. That's all I have to say. BK out.